Ani Bujo, Animal Kwam Nadishnikas, Anishinaabe and Dao, Mingan Dodum. My name is Rick McLean, and I'm the Traditional Knowledge Coordinator here at the Indigenous Diabetes Health Circle. And uh, welcome to our language resource. Uh, I like to call it Culture as Treatment. So you might be wondering what uh, speaking your Indigenous language has to do with uh, diabetes, and that's a really good question. And uh, I'd like to relate to you a story. There was a great study uh, by uh, a hospital in Alaska, and they had uh, mainly Indigenous patients there. And the hospital wanted to create a resource for the non-Indigenous doctors and nurses who um, were working with the patients and give them best practices, that kind of stuff. So they did this great thing. Um, they sent out a questionnaire to a whole bunch of elders. And the elders were in Alaska, but they were also throughout the country and uh, in some places in the States too. Asked the same questions. And when they analyzed all the responses, what they found was the common theme was culture is treatment. And I'd like to read to you just a, a couple of quick quotes because I think they're, they're really neat from uh, these elders. Um, here's one. It's not just the physical injuries, and they're now just coming around to mental injuries, but one of the main things they don't have a clue about is spiritual harmony. If you don't have those things in balance, it takes a person longer to heal. So, you know, common theme that our elders are saying, you know, uh, we approach healing in, in a different way. It's got to be in balance. It's got to be our spirit, uh, as well as our physical self, our emotional, our mental, that kind of stuff. Here's another one I love. When I see physical illness in people, there are a lot of things that cause that. Because many of our people come from broken homes or have lost a lot of their culture and their language, that's all connected to their illness. Culture is treatment. So that's why I thought that was a good title for what we're doing today. I myself have heard some of our elders here say that diabetes lacks from, uh, uh, diabetes stems from a lack of sweetness in your life or a lack of connectedness, you know, to who you are, your spirit, or the community in that. Um, so culture is treatment, and we'd like to be able to offer you several ways to introduce yourself in your own language. I'm told that when we speak our language, our ancestors are happy and they actually come to visit us. So it can be a very powerful thing to feel connected. So as far as Anishinaabe Moen goes, I'd like you to let you know that I'm not a, an original speaker. So if you're not either, I share some of your nervousness about it. And, you know, we all want to do it the right way. And, you know, we, we want to be respectful and stuff. But don't be nervous. Here's some of the things my teachers told me. Um, first of all, when you speak Anishinaabe Moen, um, <clears throat> the way you speak it will depend on where you come from. So if you're from Manitoulin Island, that's one kind of dialect and with different maybe spelling and different intonations and even different phrases. Or if you're in Leech Lake or Red Lake in Minnesota, that's going to be really different. So there is no one set way to do it. Just like, you know, in, in Australia, or if you're from Newfoundland, or if you're here in Ontario, it's gonna sound a little bit different. There's gonna be some different sort of intonations and, and that kind of stuff. So don't feel bad about that. Secondly, I was told by some original speakers, there's, there's no wrong way. As long as you're trying, that's great. And when I first started trying, I noticed, um, some of the people were kind of smiling or maybe laughing a little bit and I thought, oh my goodness, they're laughing at me. Uh, but I was told that's not true. What happens is our original speakers, when they hear us trying, they're so happy. And it's, so to them, it's just really joyful and they're almost kind of like, oh my God, that's cute. Do you know what I mean? So don't feel afraid to try. Um, you know, the original speakers and your elders will be really, really happy that you're doing that. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So you heard me at the beginning. Here was mine. I said, Bujo, Anamakwam Nadishnakaz, Anishinaabe and Dao, Mingandodam. So what I said to you, I said, Bujo, and you can see up there that means hello. And I use that instead of Anin, which means hi, because I don't know you. Well, maybe some of you I might know. Um, but if I don't know you, I'm going to be a little bit more formal. I'm saying Bujo. And then I say, Anamakwam, that's my name. Uh, in Anishinaabe Moan, Nadishnakaz, that's how I'm known. So if your name is Mark or Lisa or Joe, you might just say Joe Nadishnakaz, you know, if you don't have uh, your name. And that's great. 
And then we say Anishinaabe in Dao. And I'm told that means that I'm one of the people. You know, I'm Anishinaabe. And uh, so again, you can just say that Anishinaabe in Dao. Okay, Anishinaabe in Dao. And then I said Mingan Dodum. Dodum, as you see up there, is clan. And what I've been taught is that there were seven main clans. Uh, my clan is Wolf Clan, and so that's Mingan. <clears throat> so you won't see that up there. That's um, a sub-clan of one of the original seven. So you might have your clan. You might not have your clan. If you don't, don't worry about that. But if you do, uh, here are the words for it, okay? So you might be a uh, fish clan, and you'll see that up there, and that's uh, Gigon. The deer clan is Wawash Keashe. Martin clan, Wabjashashi. Wabjashi. Crane, uh, Ajijak. Loon, Mung. And bird, Baneshi. So that's what I'm told are the seven original clans. But again, you know, you might know things differently. And if you do, you're right. Because, uh, you know, I'm just learning too, like everybody else. And so there's Bear Clan, which is Mukwa. And one of the sub-clans of Mukwa, Bear Clan, is Mingan, Wolf Clan. So that's me. So again, Anamakwam Nadishnakaz, Anishinaabe and Dao, Mingan Dodam. And that's, that's an introduction. So I hope that you'll give it a try. Have some fun with it. Miigwech.